Yes, Dan, I can confirm it's pretty hot standing here right now, even though I am in the shade. And I'm afraid it is not great news for rail passengers. We have already seen cancellations today and tomorrow there will be no trains out of London's King's Cross to York or Leeds and Network Rail have also introduced speed restrictions across swathes of the country meaning journey times could double. The problem is this is unprecedented heat and we are all having to deal with it. Fans working overtime at this care home in London. And with temperatures more like southern Spain, a siesta is a sensible option. Joanna Arnold has a spinal cord injury and normally feels the cold. Not today. I appreciate the fan that I've got in my room at the moment. Um, it wasn't until I came out this morning that I actually realised how sort of uh, stifling it is. You need to drink a lot of water because it's quite warm, OK? Victor is the manager here and has never seen anything like it. This is unbelievable. I mean, I'm from the tropics myself. I cannot, I cannot believe it. The temperature here is probably higher than Nigeria today, so it is unbelievable. Unions are now calling for workers to be given legal protection against soaring temperatures. Those commuting into Waterloo this morning had no choice but to travel. Definitely employees should be taking measures, precautions at the very least, to make sure that their employees are kept safe. It's actually a lot cooler in the office, which is great. <laughs> yeah. So you'd rather be there than working from home? I think so, yeah. It's just getting in takes a while. On the way back home, I, I, can, I can foresee that the tube is going to be really hot. Inside. It's going to be a, a sauna or something. <laughs> would you rather stay at home if you could? I would. <laughs> this is due to severe weather. Some services on the East Coast mainline between Leeds, York and London have been cancelled amid fears of tracks buckling in the heat. The way I look at it is people pay good money to go abroad to get this sort of weather. We get two days of it over here and the whole country comes to a standstill. What does that say about us as a nation? But this is exceptional. At the Royal Preston Hospital, Mondays are always busy, but today has been hectic. We've just had eight ambulances arrive at the moment. All those crews have been offloaded to go back out, and I can all but guarantee they'll be going straight out to other people that are phoning for emergency assistance help at the moment. There's a nice balance where we can enjoy it and we go out, but vulnerable people really struggle when it gets to as hot as it is now. We're talking about temperatures that have never, ever been seen in this country. The government says extra resource has been put in place for the emergency services. We're seeing an increase in calls and the extra resource we put in place is to manage that. But there's also a time lag in the data because the highest point of the expected heat wave is actually going to be tomorrow afternoon. Uh, so that's the point of maximum concern. For schools that decided to stay open, both pupils and teachers were told to dress to stay cool. But significantly, a lot of parents have made the decision for us today because we've seen 160 out of 380 children not in, not in school today. While many may be tempted by the beach, there are warnings too. We will have lots of missing children, I can guarantee that will happen. We'll have people in difficulty on inflatable toys. It's a day to stay out of the heat and try to keep cool. But in temperatures like this, it isn't easy. Well, let's go back to Layla live because the temperature has been rising in many places, Layla, throughout the afternoon. And we understand there's been some trouble uh, disruption at, at Luton Airport. What can you tell us? Yes, that's right, Dan. Uh, Luton Airport has taken the decision to suspend all flights because of a problem on the runway. We have a statement from the airport. Uh, in it, they say, following today's high temperatures, a surface defect was identified on the runway. Engineers were called immediately to the site and repair works are currently in progress to resume operations as soon as possible. And they say they'd like to apologise for any inconvenience caused. Now, we understand that some flights are now having to be diverted to other airports, but there is no doubt that this is going to cause huge disruption to many people trying to get away on holiday.